Welcome with Gerti to another full self-driving beta video. I haven't been doing one of these for quite some time. There hasn't been much updates, but now 10.69, uh, a lot of hype around that version. And uh, I just uh, received it a couple of days ago. And I decided that I will basically record um, a short video. I'm trying to cover three different areas. One is the first segment, a little bit of city-like downtown streets. Um, I also want to see the highway and see if anything has changed on the highway stack. I don't expect anything there. There was nothing in the release notes, but just to get a feel for it. And then a little bit more of suburban streets. So let's find out. First test here is um, a stop sign which is quite far in the back. So let's see. We can see this new creep wall and it creeps, it decides to go and it goes. Now there was no traffic uh, coming here obviously so I was pretty easy. But already uh, off the bat that creep limit was quite far in the street and that is something kind of like an old debate uh, how much creeping versus um, maybe a different camera placement and things like that so it seems Tesla for now has you know gone with doing whatever is necessary and can be done given um, the hardware setup and that means in situations like these it has to creep pretty far out now again this was quite okay there was no traffic but as you could see it was pretty far in the lane so um, if there was cars coming um, might have been an issue. Okay, left turn here with this car being quite in my lane. Let's see how that goes. I'm just pulling up next to um, that other car. And this is something weird. Note the steering wheel position. It turns to the right, even though it has to go to the left. So very slowly moving, I guess waiting for these kids here. Okay, now we're stopping in the middle of the road. That's no good. Report that and hit the gas accelerator. So I don't know what he was waiting there for, why it was so hesitant, but um, obviously not ideal. So this segment here is going to be more, as mentioned, city-like streets. Um, and then we're going to go on the highway. And one of the things that was in the release notes was, as I interpreted, it's always a little difficult with these very technical release notes, but um, that on-ramps onto highway should be handled a little bit better in terms of a matching of speed. So we'll uh, give that a try. One thing I noticed, and that's also in the release note, I'm going to pull those up here. Um, when the car starts going after a, um, a stop, it actually pulls up very much in sync with the car in front of it. Whereas in previous versions, it would um, basically could be very jerky in the sense that it would speed up as soon as the car in front would go, and then. Um, kind of had to brake again and um, that was that was not really nice so here I'm gonna see that here again it's actually almost instant when the, the car in front is going my car goes and it doesn't you know hit the accelerator that hard so that it has to brake again which was um, very uncomfortable at times but this is nice here so um, I would say that's a notable change and um, according to release notes it works. See like now it kind of doesn't accelerate very much it just like the car in front of us pulls up in a slow way it's not like it's 
getting ready to take off or anything. So that's nice. And now it's trying to go left. I don't know why. It can't. Okay, probably trying to go away from... Um, might have to... You might have tried to go away from the pedestrians, but there was no space, there were cars next to me, so... A little bit awkward with the blinker and everything, but it handled it okay. Now turn right onto Green Rock Place. Nice selection of lane. Went into the right lane early, which is something um, I'm very hopeful given the first bullet point in the release notes, I'm just going to maybe put that up on the video now, um, which talks about improvement in, um, I interpret it that way, selection of lanes and finding out which lane to take at, as early as possible. Um, always some issues I had, not in on the city streets like here, but more on suburban roads, um, that it would choose the wrong lane, and I'm guessing we're going to see that later, I'm going to go into that area where it would try to use the left turn only lane to go straight. And sometimes very last second would decide to turn right. And now you can see here it's trying to go left. We go left here, okay, no problem. Yeah, so this, this lane selection logic, um, I'm curious to see if that has improved. Um, that's actually one of my top priorities, I would say, for my personal um, driving. The area I'm driving in is that it doesn't choose a stupid lanes. Um, trying to go th straight using left turn lanes and stuff like that. Okay, now we kind of were braking here, that was not good. I'm not sure what he was confused about. So we got to turn left here, right now it's an unprotected left. I wouldn't be surprised if there were cars waiting in the middle. Okay. Let's see. It's clear now. Now we gotta wait. Okay, he's going. So I'm going to... Oh, that was actually me um, disengaging here on um, accidentally. So let's see, this is not a highway ramp. Speed, 61 and we're speeding up quite a bit, and now there is stop traffic. Oh, that's perfect. See, immediately noticed that there is stop traffic. It was slowing down. It wasn't trying to go crazy on... Um... Okay, now we want to go into... Okay, I forgot to put on... Okay, that was actually good. I had to... I have it on uh, confirm uh, lane change on the uh, highway stack, so that's why. But it did great here. I think that's... That's what I would like to see. Um, it was speeding up. As soon as it became clear that there was um, slow traffic, um, it slowed down. So I believe in previous versions, it would have been much harsher in terms of, um, I'm not gonna do that lane change now, in terms of um, you know trying to speed up to the, the, the merge location. So that was good. again. Now let's see. Nice right turn. It didn't seem to be too bothered. Okay, immediately turn left. Didn't seem to be bothered by the pedestrian, which is good. So far, so good with the lane selection. 
So this is now really a left turn only lane, which is correct. And maybe we'll get some unprotected left turn, let's see. Moving into the intersection quite a bit. So we are now probably in a position that the human would be as well. And it's waiting, no jerking with the steering wheel at all. Okay, that guy lets us go, so I'm gonna take over here. See, that was not <laughs> too bad for the test, but I guess one of the things, um, this guy was flashing his lights or her lights um, to let me go. And um, the car would have waited, so I don't want to be um, an annoying annoyance to others, so that's why I kind of took over and um, took the off ramp to turn left. But yeah, that's one of the next challenges um, that Tesla will have to tackle, basically, to um, a very slow hit to the creep. Now it's got to wait. Yeah, so that was um, one of these examples where it was probably creeping too much and then moved forward, um, kind of irritated that other person coming um, um, the other way. So the, I have to check again on the video because I couldn't see that creep indicator, which is one of these things, by the way. I think it's a great thing that um, there is indication now of what the car's gonna do, how far it's gonna creep. But in situations like these, I cannot look at the screen I have to watch the traffic. So it would be great if there would be some kind of, um, let's say, um, other than visual feedback, I don't know, audio or something like that, um, that would kind of tell me what the car is doing and thinking and planning to do next. So I got to check in the video again how far um, that creep wall was in the street, but it felt like it was quite far in the street. Now we are in a more residential area. Um, this is where in previous versions I really noticed a lot of um, issues with the lane selection. So um, I think we're gonna get across that uh, traffic light, or it's actually two traffic, li tra tra traffic lights where in the past you would always have chosen the wrong lane. So let's see. see the creep wall again yeah now we are probably halfway in the lane here which is okay again there's no car coming um, but it seems to be creeping into the road quite a bit um, at least for now so that might be something that will be tweaked with the next point release um, I don't know we have to see Here is it again. Now it's okay, it's going. There's a car coming and it's pushing the accelerator. That, that's good. So it saw the other car coming um, and it kind of gave it a, a nice push. So it committed and then gave it a nice push. So here is the, the lane that I was talking about. It would, in the previous versions, it would always stay now in this left turn only lane to go straight. And it looks like it's going to do it again. Let's see, slowing down. And we are now in the left turn only lane. And um, obviously we can't go straight from here. So let's see, I guess it's gonna try to do it. Let's see what it's doing. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got the car behind me, so I got to take over, you know. Um, I don't know if you would have waited for the other traffic to go straight, but um, that lane selection logic um, still has not been fixed, unfortunately. My top priority, personally, uh, because that's one of the main reasons why I have to disengage. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So we got to turn left and then do an immediate right. And I got a car behind me. So I don't know how much I can let this play out um, because I anticipate some challenges here. But let's see. Let's see. We're going left. Okay. And now we got to turn right. And it's not doing it. Okay, it missed it. And now I got to push the accelerator because there's cars behind me. Um, yeah, so it missed that uh, right turn. And um, we have to reroute now. turn right here. I don't even know if that's... Um, oh, I didn't know that the street here you can go through. Interesting. <laughs> In FSD beta is helping me to learn some street. new things about my neighborhood. So, um, yeah, it rerouted through here. We're gonna get to see some more yeah, residential turn turns and stops. So we got to turn left here. Again, there's the stop sign. It's approaching it very cautiously, and it's kind of tough to see to the left and to the right. So, decided to go, and now we got to turn right. Now turn right onto this county street. Okay, that was okay. Very slow here to turn right. I guess it was waiting for that car. But we did it. And again, I like the um, unmarked roads behavior now. It stays to the right. And the other thing is when it comes to a stop sign, I noticed it would really go to the right um, side of the street to make space for a you know, other cars or turning cars or whatever. So that's good. Okay, got to wait for that car. That was nicely done. Perfect. So there was this car coming um, and we were hiding behind um, these other cars. So that was good. I guess it cannot, <clears throat> cannot see. Um, again, a, quite a slow left turn. And here we are at the destination. 